Welcome to the campus of McQuay Jesuit alongside my partners Jack Karens and Ben Corpiel. I'm Mitchell Hester and we are just a few short minutes away from the kickoff of BASH 2014. Let's set it down now to the fourth member of our crew, Riley Benner, who's standing by in the kitchen with head chef Floyd Avery. Riley? Chef Avery, it's been a long time coming for you and your team. What are your thoughts heading into the main course tonight? Um, my thoughts are um, clean plates, quick service, and um, just enjoying the night, you know? Very good. Well, do you have any dish that you're especially excited for? Um, I'm especially excited always about the tenderloin. It's perfectly cooked, of course. Um, it's just a favorite of McQuaid's, and um, I'm glad to be a part of it. That's great. Thank you very much, Chef. Back to you, Mitchell. All right. Thanks, Riley. All right, gentlemen, you both have experienced Chef Avery's cooking many times over the years. Any hesitations as we head into the evening? Come on, man. You know Chef Avery is a master in the kitchen. Here's a guy that's gotten more sixth graders in the past couple of years to eat their vegetables than Nally's played golf rounds. Yeah, I think Floyd Avery's come a long way since his rookie year when he was making pasta in the main cafeteria. I think he's got all the tools around him to make tonight a great hit. You know, I think I'm really, I'm really curious to see how he's gonna, how he's gonna, how he's gonna do tonight. Okay, and we turn our attention now to the live auction. You guys, I want to know what your biggest question marks are as we go in tonight. For me, it's the Masters trip. Yeah! You know, last year was, you know, last year was great for Rochester and hosting the PGA Championship, but this is the Masters, a tradition unlike any other. Who would not want to take a private jet down to Augusta and spend a few days on the most famous course in the world? It performed well under pressure last year, and I hope it will do the same this year. I think a big thing for me is going to be that quilt that Hockadell made. He, he certainly put a lot of time into it, and it looks great. But I think a major question is going to be, do the bidders think that he's got enough juice left in the tank to make yet another great quilt? We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let's talk now about what you two see as the keys to success tonight. Jack, what are your thoughts? For me, the live auction has got to get off to a fast start. Yeah. You know, it was a bold move by Ladisa and Carancy to put that t-shirt quilt in the starting position, but I think it'll go okay. Also, you know, the Jesuits have performed well with the paddle calls the past couple years, and I hope to see this Jesuit do the same. I'm real excited about the trips. I think that uh, it's been a brutal winter here in Rochester, and I think that families are going to be really excited to head out of town. I'm also uh, really interested to see how Howie Jacobson, the uh, number one pitcher in Rochester, I want to see how he can set the tone tonight. Can he take this big crowd? Can he have that courage? Can he harness all that energy to make tonight a great night? I'm real curious to see how he's going to do. Okay, just about to wrap things up here in the pregame show, it's time for you gentlemen to make your selections. Karen's you up first. For me, it has to be the Knights of McQuaid. They're prepared, battle-tested, and ready for anything that comes their way. Hey, you know what, Karen's? I think this is the first time that you and I have ever agreed on something. I think the Knights are going to take the prize home. Let's go, Knights! It sounds like Ben's ready. It sounds like they're ready. That'll do it for us here on the pregame show. Let's send you down to the field house now for the kickoff of Bash 2014 Friday Night Lights. Thanks for joining us on the pregame show. We'll see you after the auction and have a great night.